What's up, everybody? This is the Classic Tycoon here, and we are back for episode 23? 23? 24. Episode 24, I think, of the Million Dollar Mission. We're, uh, we're getting into quite a few episodes here, but, um, yeah, it, everything's going good. So, um, today, next to the floorless roller coaster, I wanted to put in a food court here, so let's just do that real quick. Um, yeah, every once in a while in the park, I just want to throw in a big area where there's lots of food, lots of um, souvenirs, things like that, that guests can buy. So I'm going to throw in a bunch of food. Hot dog stall, start with that. Um, seafood stall, and then a restroom, an information kiosk, and a couple of souvenir stalls like this sunglasses stall here. And... Um, T-shirt stall, that's always good. You know, guess we'll end up buying these things. We're at about 3,100 guests right now. I'd like to get that up over 4,000 as soon as possible here. But, um, you know, they come and go as they please, so it's kind of hard to control. All you can do is do as many advertising campaigns and build as many rides as possible, so... All right, all of those are in there. One thing I forgot to put in is a cash machine, so we'll do that in the next one. We'll just put one somewhere nearby. Got to make sure that, especially near all of these expensive roller coasters, that there's cash machines so that guests can access cash to go on more rides here. All right. Now that that's um, done, I wanted to build a couple of rides today. Um, I wanted to fill up this space right here next to the wild mouse. And um, I haven't decided exactly what I wanted to put in there yet, but we'll fill that up with something at, s at some point today. I was thinking maybe some go-karts or another smaller roller coaster. And um, looks like right there I would just deleted that no entry way so that people can actually get to the food here that's probably a good thing and then um, yeah probably some go-karts would be good because we have the go-karts at the beginning of the park but they're kind of um, outdated and they weren't that great so I just put in some new mechanics right there by the way so, I'm thinking somewhere around here for those go-karts. Oh, by the way, um, I checked on Sky here as well, and people aren't going on the ride, so I had to bring down the price. It was seven fifty or something like that before, brought it down to $5, and it looks like people are starting to go in. So, I just made sure to take care of a couple of these rides here, just like this. So yeah, again, um, I know I've done this in past episodes, but always be on the lookout for things like that, where, you know, a huge ride like Sky that's going to be bringing in tons of guests needs to be running at all times. So really check those queue lines and make sure that people are going on the rides or else, you know, they're not going to be making any money and they're just, you know, sitting there losing money for you. All right, so this side of the park still feels a little empty. Everyone, everywhere else seems to actually be okay. It's just kind of where we're building right now that guests don't really seem to be going over to. But, um, but yeah, maybe putting a ride right here will help. So like I was saying, um, I'm thinking go-karts, but I don't really see, I don't know, I kind of want the guests to be able to access another part of the park through right there, so I'm thinking maybe putting the carts underneath the, uh, the synchronized wooden roller coasters here. So I think that's what we'll do. Let's go ahead and build 
we'll do a nice long track. And I'm going to make it nice and flat as well. Also, I'm going to keep up on these um, advertising campaigns. You can see they just ended. So I'm just going to fill those up real quick. The moment they end, do some more so that you don't you know, lose guests while you're building a ride. So, um, yeah, I'm going to keep this nice and flat because that hel I think that helps, you know, definitely helps with the speed of the go-karts. And you want those go-karts running through fast. But if they're going up hills, then it slows them down quite a bit. I have learned to always put an entertainer in the queue line for go-karts because... You know, guests don't seem to really like the go-karts unless you have three laps. But what that causes is just a super long ride and then guests are waiting. So make sure that your queue line is nice and short for go-karts. But also put an entertainer in there or else they're going to be sitting around and they're going to be getting angry in your line. They're going to go out and break your benches and all that. So, yes, be aware of all that. All right, so we're good there. Um, I'm just going to leave that price at its uh, default is $2. I'm just going to leave that and start letting guests go on it. You can see I put an entertainer in there. And then um, the only way to test the ride is to let guests ride it. So I'm just going to leave that open and let it fill up for a minute. It takes a little... A little bit of time for that to start actually happening as you can see especially of course it starts raining right when I open the ride but that shouldn't be too big of a deal for a brand new ride but um yeah I wanted to build one more ride today to kind of extend the length of this episode a little bit and Again, I'm thinking right over here in this area, I wanted to start creating a path to lead out behind the Orange Giant over there and Ozymandias. So, you know, so many of these roller coasters, I've built like all the different types um, that I really like to build. And so... Um, if there's any specific types of roller coasters that you guys would like to see built, let me know in future episodes. But um, I'm, I want to try to keep the variety, you know, as much variety as possible. I build a lot of wooden roller coasters, I know that. But, um, but yeah, I want to try to do something different for you guys today. So, you know, kind of look through. I'm thinking... It's got to be something small so it can fit right there. I was kind of thinking the uh, mini roller coaster or you know something at the beginning here, the side friction roller coaster or wooden wild lot mouse, something like that. I look at these for a second because I'm not really super familiar with the side friction roller coaster, but I think this is what I'm going to go with today and uh, challenge myself to build a new type of roller coaster. They're pretty small, I noticed. Not a lot of huge dips, and um, honestly, there's not very much variety on these, so it's going to be a pretty simple build. But um, again, this is like my first time ever building one of these roller coasters, but let's just give it a try. It's kind of fun to try new things once in a while. I want to build the station platform parallel to the uh, reverse freefall roller coasters. Again, I want to start building a pathway out in that direction so we can start putting rides over on that side of the park. So just a nice short chain lift here. And this honestly is as tall as I want this roller coaster to go. And um, you can see the variety on this. I kind of check it out for a second. Under the special... There's pretty much nothing there. Um, you can't do steep hills on this thing. You can only do the basic hill. And there's not even banked turns. So, you know, you got to be very uh, 
very careful. You don't want the roller coasters going way too fast on something like this, or I'm sure that the intensity rating will be way too high. So you kind of got to build it similar to a wild mouse. So, we'll try it like that. I noticed there was actually no block breaks for this thing. So, um, I decide not to go with the hill at the end. I don't want, if something malfunctions with the, uh, with the, um, station platform breaks, you don't want roller coasters smashing into each other and exploding and killing guests. So, um, yeah, that's what block breaks prevent in this game. I don't know if you guys played RCT1. But I remember in that game, I mean, I was younger, so I didn't really know what I was doing too much. But um, there weren't any block breaks. So if your station platform brakes went out, the ride would literally explode while the guests were on it. And then you would kill a bunch of guests. And it was pretty crazy. There you go. I mean, that, that roller coaster, it's kind of cool. You know, it's... Uh, Nothing too special, but I kind of like the, you know, sometimes simpler is better. So, 4.69, not bad, not bad, especially for something that simple. So, all right, let's put in these um, pathways, and then that roller coaster will be done. We can open it up for business. And I got a name all these things so let me do that real quick and we also need to name the go-karts here it's a pretty decent excitement rating for those go-karts 5.8 again that's what's nice about putting filling your park with trees and then um you know building close to other rides it really helps out with those excitement ratings This part of the park seems to be getting a you know, few more guests in here. It still feels a little empty. But hopefully through more advertising campaigns in the future episodes, we'll be getting more and more guests over to this side of the park. It's kind of just out in the corner, you know, far-reaching side of the park. So it's kind of hard for the guests to get there way way out here but there you have it that's the episode guys um, some go-karts and a side friction roller coaster let me know what you thought about those rides please like comment and subscribe only if you jo um, enjoyed the episode I really appreciate the support everyone's been giving me in the past week I know I've been saying that a lot lately but it's really been awesome guys um, been getting a lot more views the past couple past couple weeks and more subscribers so i'm excited about it i'm going to keep pumping out videos as often as i can and i'll catch you guys in the next one